And on a Friday morning, when you hear that music from Oklahoma, that means it's time to go to the first federal money program with local legend Dick Belcher. Good morning, sir. How Good. are you? I'm 96%. 96%? Yeah. Yeah. What happened to the other 4%? I'm working on it. You're working on it, I <laughs> <Yeah>. see. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Scott. Good morning, sir. Glad to have you here. Good to be here. Thank you. Now, you heard the big news from Bloomington, didn't you? I did. Yeah, Brian, Brian is going to stay. Okay, speaking of radio, Baron, uh -oh. what, uh, here's a little trivia for her. What is the oldest continuously operating radio station in Indiana? In Indiana? Yeah. Is it WOWO Fort Wayne, WHBU at Anderson, or WBAA at Purdue? Think about it. I think I got a good idea, but I'll probably yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Think so. You know, I have no Gloria. Idea. I, I think I, I might know. know. I think okay. I might know. Okay. Well, this 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 program is designed to educate people <laughs> <laughs> in little known facts. Right? The important and, stuff applies, right? And, the important stuff. And do it in 28 minutes. <laughs> yeah. so, like, That's all people can handle. That's their attention span. Okay. All right. In sports, are you a golfer? I am not a golfer. Are you a golf fan? Uh, uh, of the Masters, yes. Okay, Masters. Okay, that it started yesterday. Yeah. And uh, the guy that won it last year, Spieth. Spieth, is that right? Speed. Speed. Okay, he leads. Yep. What'd you think of uh, Ernie L's uh, first shot, first I, hole? It's it. He, he had a nine. He's playing like Scott Sager. <laughs> Is that with two T's? Does that mean yeah, it took him nine T's. tries to get? Huh? Does that mean it took him nine tries to get the ball in the hole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Should have taken him four, at most. Yeah. Well, well he got a little frustrated. I had to. Was that a par know, four hole? He was kept putting it. <laughs> you actually watched that? Yeah. I'm uh huh. I'm that was a par four hole. <laughs> it was on TV this morning. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. I know enough to know that that wasn't all that good. Yeah, uh, that's not the way to start out the Masters or no. start out any, for that matter. Okay, uh, Huskies. They won uh, four. They got four in a row now. Yep. And uh, uh, that's the, the ladies. And of course, uh, uh, Villanova won. Chris Jenkins. You go down in legend time, right? Yes, yeah. sir. Hit the hit the buzzer beater. Unforgettable. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Scott Drew. You know who he is. That's his name, Scott Drew. Yeah, I don't know. Valparaiso. He's going. He's going to Vanderbilt. Their head coach. Oh. And his brother uh, is at Baylor. And uh, so, uh, I'm sorry. Scott Drew is at Baylor, and Bryce is at Valparaiso, and he's going to Vanderbilt. Bryce Drew is going to Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. Big news. <laughs> <laughs> the Drew's been coaching at Vanderbilt them. for 30 years, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, at uh, Valpo. Their, their dad is coach there forever. Yeah. <laughs> end, of a, end of a legacy. Pardon me? Job opening, though, for, for Tom Crane. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Think he'd move to Valpo? God. <laughs> yeah. Guy, you, you guys did so well, and you whine and cry, and... Oh, I never jumped on the bandwagon. Remember, I was trying to sell his house for it. <laughs> okay. right. Moving right along here, uh, Fulton County 4-H Council and, uh, and Fair Association annual fish and tenderloin fry is tomorrow from 4 to 7.30. Fulton County Special Olympic plays basket bingo April the 12th with doors opening at 5.30 and play starting at 6.30 at the Fulton County. County Museum tickets are twenty dollars. That's a that's a fun event. You uh, interested in doing that? Rochester High School Triaps uh, presents Irving Berlin's "Any Get Your Gun" at seven o'clock today and tomorrow at the RHS Auditorium. Rochester Rotary Club's seventh annual trivia night at uh, six o'clock April the twentieth at the First Christian Church. First Federal will have a team there. We're warming up. Uh, okay, also uh, we got a notice from uh, Shirley Willard about uh, 
Civil War author to speak here April the 17th. That's at the Historical Society Museum. The author is Nancy Baxter, and she's going to talk about the Civil War and how uh, Fulton County was involved in Rochester. And uh, should be a very interesting thing. That's at two o'clock at the Fulton County Museum uh, on April 17th, next Sunday. Sounds interesting. Okay, uh, you should know about the uh, wrestlers. Uh, they're they're selling their body. <laughs> Pretend. They're made to science. <laughs> 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 Pretend, <laughs> <first> to sign up. <laughs> for ten dollars an hour. No, seriously, this is a good group of kids. Uh, they, uh, if you want some heavy lifting done, uh, call them. You can call Clint Guard at eight three five seventeen thirty two, and uh, they'll they'll send you over a couple wrestlers to take, help take care of uh, whatever you need to take care of. Uh, we've used them a few times and uh, very, very personal young men and uh, the, the wrestling club is uh, a very uh, good organization. Oh, some milestones. I see uh, Barber uh, Bill Kanoff is uh, celebrating 50 years in business. Some flowers. Uh, Lily Scholars, Elizabeth Good of Rochester High School for for Fulton County and Shea Murley of Tippecanoe Valley High School for Kosciuszko County both received a four-year full tuition scholarship to an Indiana college of their choice. What do you think of that? I think that's great. I think that uh, wow. Brett Boggs said Shea is going to potentially Rose Holman. Yes, so, yes, he's like going, that's his plan. Super, yeah. super. So, yeah. Pretty great. Mm -hmm. A lot of money. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, and uh, money news today, the Fed is still waffling. They may or may not raise rates in April. That means they won't. Uh, they're going to they're gonna wait till June or July now. You think they'll definitely do so this year? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe a Christmas present, but it'll, it'll happen. The Dow, Dow was off 174 points yesterday. Uh, up until yesterday, the week was pretty good. It closed at 17,716. At First Federal, we're open today till 5 o'clock. Tomorrow, Saturday, 8.30 to noon, ATM, our brand new ATM is always open. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Still a good time to look at the rate you are paying on your home loan while interest rates on mortgage loans are still low and see if refinancing is a good option for you. Uh, we dropped our, 50, our 15, 20, and 30 year fixed rates uh, this week, an eighth of a percent. Uh, we keep saying, you know, we can't go any lower, we can't go any lower, but the market dictates that, so it happens. First time home buyers. Loan program. First Federal pays a standard closing costs on any type of loan program for borrowers who haven't owned a home in, a, in the least, at least the last three years. Borrowers must meet underwriting guidelines and delivery fee may be applicable to the loan. Our NMLS number is 39 or 9 or 9 or 27. First Federal is FDIC insured and an equal housing lender. So no, we got the commercial all in there. No, I think you did. It was now a, it was a now we get commercial. down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> Gloria Carvey, who's president of the chamber, yes. uh, welcome. Glad to have you here. And also yeah. Amy Rowe, who's the executive uh, hoopla. The, <laughs> the big kahuna. Yeah. The big kahuna. <laughs> you're, you're, the Thank head, you for you're the head Fred down there, right? We work on it. Yeah. One day at a time. Okay. Okay, Gloria, now, you got a big event coming up uh, tomorrow night. Tell us about that. Oh, we certainly do. Um, we have our gala. Uh, it's going to start at uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow night. It is sold out. Uh, the first time in my remembrance that it has ever been sold out. Um, it is going to be at the Fulton Community Center, so this is kind of a first um, for down there. Um, we are going to be having, um, oh, let's see, um, um, we're going to have uh, a the live music, live music mm -hmm. that will be um, um, 
Kelly Wood will be a jazz singer. Mm -hmm. So that three is kind of band. a three-piece band. I mean, this is going to be scene? and uh, elegant business elegant business elegant. So get out those little ties and, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know come on out with that. And we're also going to um, we're going to have our. Uh, annual meeting will be along with the gala which will be a kind of a short synopsis of what all we've uh, done in 2015 and a little bit of, of 16 so that's will be a, a kind of a nice addition as well as our awards and we're going to be giving uh, business awards and uh, it will be just a wonderful wonderful time and uh, down there so uh, nine or six o'clock to nine o'clock and um, so we all want you to enjoy if you have a ticket and uh, come out. Yeah. Unfortunately, there are no tickets at the door. That's been a question, unfortunately. We, had, uh, we didn't anticipate going from, I think the most was 130 last year. We didn't yes. anticipate selling out of an additional 70 tickets. So uh, we thought 70 would be enough. And it turns out that we may have to look for a larger venue next year, potentially. That's right. And, and um, um, Grubs are doing the, um, the catering of the event. The food will be wonderful. Um, we have some beer and wine mm -hmm. for those who imbibe mm -hmm. and, uh, at the beginning. And uh, so it will be, it'll be a really good event. So. Okay, now Amy, uh, you, you talk, uh, Gloria has talked about you're going to have the annual meeting also mm -hmm. in conjunction with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, what are you going to tell us tomorrow night? Yeah, so that, that What have you been doing, if anything? How long have <laughs> how, well, how you been around? I feel like I've been here for about 2.5 seconds, but yeah. it, if with the calendar, it's been about six months, okay. starting in, in September of 2015. So with the annual meeting part, and that was one of the um, areas mm -hmm. that we wanted to make sure that we followed that related we to our bylaws. That was one of the things that we looked at with our banquet to ensure that we didn't forget that that's very right. important and so Bethany will be speaking about the uh, members and sponsors for 2015 who those were uh, not exactly all the members but the um, the number and also a bit of the financials and overview and about the major events so I was obviously in at the back end of that um, so there are some that I was part of, mostly the chili cook-off, which was right. quite a, a run when I first started. I was here about a week or two before that. Right, right. She and hit the ground running. There's yeah. no doubt about that. And and uh, but we'll we'll be talking about the prior year scala. We'll be talking about the parade. Um, the, what parade? The the parade last year oh. that we that we had. And, uh, the round so barn parade that we didn't have. Yeah, no, I think, it, I think <laughs> well, they we, officially called it the celebration. The, the community celebration, celebration parade. Per the documents and, I looked at. Yes, yes. Okay. And, uh, so just to give me a little, um, you know, hindsight um, overview of, of last year, what we accomplished, and what we are moving forward. And that's what's exciting, is that the future has a lot to hold. Mm -hmm. So we'll uh, give a little glimpse of that as well. Well, we're speaking this morning to uh, Amy Rowe, who's the executive head for Ed, of the company, <laughs> and uh, Gloria, your president this year, yes. and uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the chamber. Now, uh, a couple years ago, you changed the name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that, uh, Gloria. You were around. Okay. All right. Well, we um, what we did was that we became the Fulton County uh, Chamber of Commerce instead of the Rochester Lake Manitow Chamber of Commerce and what that meant was that we were inclusive we were going to bring in the smaller communities of Fulton and Leidersford and Kiwana and Akron and uh, that we would be more meaningful to those businesses and our focus really did change a lot from just planning events to uh, helping the businesses and uh, taking them um, to the next level in uh, the business community. We also um, had more of a, a legislative mission as well, and to promote and have you know legislative breakfasts and uh, and have um, us go out there and uh, lobby so that we could promote business in our community. So that was the major thing that we became more inclusive of okay. the entire county. So it's meant to include the full, all of Fulton mm -hmm. County. Mm -hmm. Okay, Amy, tell me about membership. How, how's it doing? And uh, 
It's doing well so far. Uh, we actually had some increased sponsorship. That's been quite fun, quite nice for uh, just that more intentional partnership. We added the uh, county commissioners, which we were very pleased with. That obviously gives us that county designation. Uh, we feel like that's a major mm -hmm. win. Uh, we had the NIPSCO. Uh, NIPSCO joined as a platinum sponsor. They moved actually up from the gold sponsor to the platinum. And we had some additional gold sponsors. We had Team Pride and actually Rochester Iron and Metal just joined. They mm -hmm. are going to be the beverage sponsor for the gala uh, for the first two tickets for that. So they joined. And so we're working on uh, the bronze sponsorship. We have Beacon and uh, Rapid View are the two there. And then we are still working on some silver sponsorships, which is that $500 level. So that is the uh, largest because that actually provides the specific budget for creating the events that we need to. Okay, now you just gave the amount for, uh, for uh, $500 for that level. Mm -hmm. uh, what the, what the, uh, other levels what what's the threshold for the dollars yeah this the platinum sponsorship is that five thousand dollars that's where y'all are at and some of our other um, great sponsors we've got the gold sponsorship at 2500 and then the platinum sponsorship which is the new is at a thousand or excuse me not bronze, platinum bronze, bronze thank bronze. you but, uh, the bronze is at a thousand and then the silver would be 500 okay yes okay. so and we are getting ready to we had the uh, membership drive ended on the 15th we're being gracious and giving folks a, a few more days or uh, weeks to get in the membership uh, applications and then we will start calling folks and visiting just to see if there's anything we can do maybe they didn't get their actual application or invoice and be able to to ensure that we have a final accurate count for 2016 as to who what when and where well you guys are doing a great job of uh, getting the membership uh, under control and uh, more yeah, members and more sponsors them. you got to have the money to function unfortunately if you don't have money you can't get things done correct That's right. I could live Absolutely. in a cardboard box to make this happen I don't know if that would work well but <laughs> gotta right. have money okay now tell us some of the programs that you've got that uh, coming that makes it worthwhile for uh, people to consider to joining that so in the, when we were speaking often about why we wanted to add an additional sponsor, what, what's the point of that? And that was to be able to provide more of what Glory was speaking about with that mission that they had started in 2013 of being a business advocate organization. What does that look like? It looks like being um, the lobbying, uh, education, networking, and focusing on groups that others aren't doing. So FEDCO has their mission, uh, the Chamber needs to have their mission, and the Rochester Downtown Partnership. So when we were looking at what areas are there that's missing, we felt like the, uh, the women leadership area, uh, farming, and then young uh, professionals. And so we can't do everything in one year. I, that would be impossible. Mm -hmm. So we figured out what's the lowest hanging fruit, what's the easiest to start with, and so we decided that women, that would be one that we could move forward with. Because um, they're the lowest hanging fruit. It's the easiest. <laughs> it's the easiest. It's the yeah. easiest. It's the <laughs> easiest. It's, Gloria's a woman, I'm a woman. Uh, we understand that. Kelly's a woman. So for us, if we're looking at time and efficiency, it's easiest for us to understand that platform and we don't have to learn Well, and about women that. love to get together. You know yes. that. <laughs> they love to get together. They love, they love to talk about their business. And women are one of the fastest growing small business owners in the country country and so that naturally enough we need to promote mm -hmm. uh, this and so women in business that's a hot topic yeah. and, uh, and we'll have a good time too <laughs> and we didn't want to miss the opportunity to support that we felt like with Kelly I you know, I have to give a plug for her. She, I give her ideas and I say, this is what we want to do. And somehow she takes that idea and she puts it on paper. So we came up with the logo. Okay. You'll see that out, partner, inspire, and empower. We feel like women need to come together. We want to have a fun mm -hmm. time, but we want to ensure that we're coming together and not against each other. And so what does that look like? Well, we decided to bring in a, a big uh, pinch hitter. We, shoot, we uh, shot for the moon and hope to land somewhere mm -hmm. close to mm -hmm. there. Um, so uh, Dr. Elsperman. Um, former lieutenant governor she will be our first speaker uh, for that event she's her keynote yep 
and she has a uh, yeah. she has a bit of a connection to Ivy Tech too. Mm. <laughs> so she wasn't well, too yeah. awful sad about that. <laughs> she wants so, she wants a connection. She wants a yeah. connection. Yeah. 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 She desires that. So we're we are looking forward. We had someone yesterday uh, when Kelly posted on Facebook the final flyer, a young lady that I believe is out of town, and uh, she posted that she was very proud of uh, Fulton County and her hometown that we would even choose to partner with different demographics and be forward thinking. So we must be moving in a, in a direction mm -hmm. that uh, other folks are Okay, noticing. now when is the former Lieutenant Governor coming here? What, when is the meeting and where? That's April 22nd. That's Friday, April 22nd. Uh, the registration will start at 745. It will be hosted at the Fulton County Public Library in their room, depending upon how many RSVPs we get. It will be either in one room or both. We just have to wait until we get the final number for that. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. So. All right. Yeah. What's what's some other things that the chamber does? You got chili cook off. You mm -hmm. got some other things. Yeah. So one of the other parts that goes back to that, uh, what we were speaking about with lobbying. Uh, we are figuring out, walking it out, what does our mission related to the political realm look like? Because we all know, as we spoke about and you're joking about before, it can be a tad bit of an interesting topic to um, broach. And so we want to make sure that we're not going on either side of a cliff. So issues, obviously, for a chamber are better than specific candidates. And so we looked at the natural fit of education, of supporting that. And when we were down for the chamber day at the State House, we had the opportunity to meet Superintendent Glenda Ritz. And so I have um, approached the superintendents from the three schools mm -hmm. here and will probably sit down with her and them and give them an opportunity to talk with, uh, with Superintendent Glenda Ritz. She's going to come up here? She mm -hmm. is. It'll be uh, just a small gathering. Uh, we don't want to do anything on a larger level at the moment because we haven't officially decided which direction and stance that we'd like to take. So we want to make sure it's a kind of small measured um, intentional mm -hmm. movement forward. But we also wanted to start that conversation. You can't figure out the conversation if you don't start it. And so we are going to, We she actually approached us and asked if she could come talk to Fulton County, That's right. which was mm -hmm. nice. I mean, yeah. we, we thought that was mm -hmm. great. And from the meeting that we went down with Gloria and all the rest of us, right, some of the right. board members, and of course we said yes, and I drove down to speak to her uh, scheduler and asked what that meant. And so we, um, are doing a small gathering at the chamber just to mostly give the opportunity for those superintendents to speak to her um, and tell them what they need and to ask some questions of her and be able to start a conversation. Right. So, now, have, have you, uh, do the superintendents know about this yet? Yes, they do. We actually sat down, the three of us, um, well, the four of us, so the three superintendents and I sat down last week and I just heard what they had to say because we talked about it at our last board meeting. And so I sat down with them and asked them exactly what they were wanting to do with it and got their opinion before I went down and met with the scheduler, Megan. I wanted mm -hmm. to hear what, I can't make a decision for what they need. So I asked their opinion and what they felt like was necessary. And so then we moved to the next step, which was right. going and figuring out uh, when she would be available and really meeting with her. And then we are now choosing a date probably towards the end of April to be able to do that and so we're excited we're continually looking at well, that we're, we're kind of acting as a conduit mm -hmm. more to just get get people talking you mm -hmm. know that's the whole purpose of this and uh, so that you know they can go directly you know to her and uh, and air their issues you know and so that's that's a part of a, that well, what we do too is we're an advocate for education yeah, you're an advocate for education. Yeah, can you think of that one? <laughs> I, 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 I see the uh, education coming out here. To, uh, what's your day job, Gloria? Well, you my, day, my day job, and that's the truth sometimes. Uh, my day job is that I'm the site director at Ivy Tech, and, and we, keep, we keep pretty busy over there uh, with uh, our classes. We have the high school students coming over. Uh, taking classes in the morning. We've got summer classes coming up here real soon and in fact I've been busy kind of getting uh, students around here for uh, we're going to be doing our first certified nursing assistant class this summer and um, this is at a need for the um, for the nursing homes in town. There really is a, a super need for um, 
uh, more CNAs and so we're going to be offering that this summer and I have a feeling we, we can only do like 10 students at a time and I think they'll have jobs before they're even there's, halfway through. There's and, a real shortage. I have friends yes. who have come up here from down around Muncie looking. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Especially for hospice care. And, and oh nursing. yes, yeah, the, yes, home health care, they want CNAs to do that. So anyway, this is going to be a good niche market for, for us to train in. And it's very short term, eight weeks. So. Oh. Yeah, very wow. fast. And then they have a designation. Then they have that designation. Wow, this is the fastest, uh, you know, and, and you can increase your wages. I even have two um, girls that are currently in college that are, are wanting to take this class this summer so that they can work while they're in college as a CNA. Mm -hmm. And so they make far more money than uh, they would as a work study or working a minimum wage job. And then they, they also can pick their shift. Uh, they can work on the weekends, they can be second, third shift, whatever. And it's a great way to work your way through college as well, is to be a CNA. Hmm. And eight weeks, that's fast. <laughs> okay, people that want more info on that, Contact. They should call me okay. at Ivy Tech, <laughs> and uh, you know we are uh, two two three three two two eight. And um, please uh, uh, come call me uh, there. We also have some funding available for this class, and so uh, check that out. Really, sounds, sounds good. great. Mm -hmm. Amy, the last thing yes, uh, you. Anything uh, you'd like to talk about? Yeah, I'll just really quickly uh, put that plug out for the passports we spoke about earlier from the uh, Indiana State Tourism and the byways that they, those are available. Basically what it is, and we were teasing earlier, it, the, the tagline is uh, road trip 200 years in the making. And so they are attempting to get folks from Southern Indiana to Northern Indiana with the different byways. So those are available at the chamber for $2 donation. And then the other part is we're pleased to finally uh, get our member certificates out now that we're gonna have our membership right. uh, solidified. We are doing something different and we are partnering with uh, being county focused by taking different uh, pictures of the county for each year. This year we are doing Kiwana, which uh, with everything that just happened, we are pleased to support them in that. So the members will get their certificate soon and the sponsors will also, and that will have a picture of Kiwana and we welcome them to go out to Kiwana and try to figure <coughs> out where it is. We want, we want this to be an opportunity for people to explore Fulton County. Yes. And so we would love them to take that picture and go to Kiwana and try to figure out where mm -hmm. in the world Kelly got that photo from. Mm -hmm. uh, there is the kibitzer there. They can go eat dinner there um, and do some research and, and figure it out. We would love that. So, okay. yes, sir. Thank you, uh, Thank Gloria. You. Thank oh, you, Amy, yes, for okay. stopping by this morning. Thank you for having me. Yes, uh, great yes, job with the chamber that you're, you. that you're doing. Well, we're having fun, Dick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys always have fun. But we're having fun. We're okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the uh, trivia, what is the oldest continuously operating radio station? WoWo in Fort Wayne, WHBU in Anderson, or WBAA of Purdue? Is it WOWO? That's my guess, is WoWo. No. No, no is it the Purdue one? Up. You said the one in Purdue. 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 Purdue? Well, then you're good. I have no idea. Good. 1922. It's 22. been operating since 1922. Oh, shouldn't surprise anybody. Second either. oldest is uh, in Anderson. W oh, WWO's third. Oh, so wow. you heard it first here. Are you, <laughs> are you impressed, Scott? I am. Okay, what was it like being on the radio back then, Dick? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Scott might get fired. Okay. <laughs> Pay attention, though. Moving right along. This is, this is Words of Wisdom, Thoughts to Grow On, by Will Rogers. Hmm. You know him? I've heard of him. You've heard of him, yeah. He says, I don't make jokes. I just watch the government and report the facts. <laughs> Very good. I like it. You did like that, Baron? <laughs> yes, I did like that. And uh, it's a First Federal Money Program. It's on Friday mornings. Dick, thank you very kindly. Thank Ladies, you, Mary. thank you for thank your you time. Thank you. ABC News is on the way. Buying your first home? Let the experts at First Federal Savings Bank help you through the process. At First Federal, all of their mortgage loans are serviced locally with payment options that are convenient for you. Their staff will work with you answering your questions and providing professional service. First Federal will even pay standard closing costs for qualifying first-time home buyers. 
just another way First Federal takes care of you. Your local mortgage lender.